Cleaning your roof doesn't just help your home look clean and maintained, it can also increase the lifespan of your roofing system and help you catch any issues early on before they become expensive and costly. So, how do you clean your roof? How often should you do it? And what should you use? I'm Thomas Williams with Colony Roofers, and in this video, we're going to answer all those questions and more. Let's get started. Because most homes in the U.S. have asphalt shingle roofs, there are a number of roof cleaning products on the market. The first thing you need to do is determine what your goals are in cleaning your roof and decide whether or not you are comfortable getting on a ladder to do so. Let's go over the basic steps in cleaning your shingle roof. The first thing you want to take care of when cleaning an asphalt shingle roof is your general maintenance tasks. Start by cleaning your gutters to make sure they are able to properly carry water away from your home. The next step to prepare is to water any plants near your home and then cover them with plastic. When using roof cleaners, sometimes the chemicals can be harmful to your vegetation, so you want to take the necessary steps to protect your landscaping. There are a number of different products and shingle cleaning chemicals that can be used to clean your asphalt shingle roof. It's important to note here that you should never use a pressure washer to clean your asphalt shingles as this can damage them and remove the granules that make them weatherproof. The better choice for cleaning your roof is to use a sprayer attached to a garden hose filled with the cleaning solution of your choice. One of the most common methods is cleaning with a bleach solution. Depending on the state of your roof, you can use a more or less concentrated solution. There are also many roof cleaning solutions that you can purchase as well as using more natural options like vinegar. It's very important to note that you should check your roof's warranty before using any cleaning products at all on your shingles. Some manufacturer's warranties will be voided if certain chemicals are used on your roof, such as ones that are commonly used to kill algae and moss. You've got your cleaner, now it's time to clean your roof. In order to properly clean your roof, you want to start at the top and work your way down. This will help ensure your entire roof gets covered in the cleaning solution. If you have areas of your roof that have a lot of algae growth, you may want to double treat them. To do this, add a second coat of the cleaning solution after about five minutes. There are different types of algae and moss that can grow on roofs, and some of them are harder to get rid of than others. If you are using a bleach solution, algae and moss should either disappear or turn white once it's been killed. Also, depending on the chemical you choose, you may have to spray your roof down one more time to rinse it off. For example, when using bleach, you should allow the mixture to sit for 15 to 20 minutes before rinsing it off. It's usually recommended to have your roof cleaned at least once a year. If your roof is brand new or you know it's in very good condition, it's possible to clean your roof every other year. One of the benefits to having your roof cleaned annually is that it helps you to spot any problems early on. This can allow you to get things fixed promptly before they turn into larger issues. So, should you clean your roof yourself? This really depends on a number of factors. Some of these include how easy it is for you to access your roof, what type of roofing system you have, how tall your building is, and whether or not you feel comfortable getting on a ladder to perform this kind of task. There can be a lot of risks involved with cleaning your own roof, from property damage to personal injury. If this is a project you are interested in taking on yourself, it's absolutely essential that you take the proper safety precautions. The size of your roof and the type of shingles you have will impact how long it takes you to clean your roof. Many professional roofing companies can clean your roof in two to five hours. However, if this is a project you are going to be taking on yourself and you have never completed it before, you should anticipate that this process will take significantly longer. The cost of roof cleanings will vary depending on a number of factors, including your location, the size of your roof, the number of stories, the type of roof you have, and the cleaning method you choose. On average though, a 2,000 square foot roof can cost anywhere from 400 to 1,400 to clean. There are a number of reasons why it's worth cleaning your roof once a year, including helping to prevent your roof from damage due to moss or algae growth, allowing you or a roofing professional to notice any potential issues that could become more expensive problems down the road, extending the life of your roof, 
protecting your shingle warranty, boosting your home's curb appeal, and saving you money in the long run by helping to prevent costly repairs. The biggest factor impacting what time of year is best for roof cleaning is going to be where you live. In many places in the U.S., spring or summer is a great time of year for roof cleaning. However, in warmer regions in the southern U.S., the fall or winter can be the ideal time for this task. Yes, cleaning your roof can improve its energy efficiency. If your roof is covered in dark algae, this can make it absorb more heat which will raise the temperature in your attic. Additionally, some roofs are designed to reflect heat from the sun, but if they are dirty, they are not able to do this job properly. If your roof needs to be cleaned and you don't want to do it yourself, the best thing to do is to call a licensed roofing contractor. You can always give us a call here at Colony Roofers and we'll be sure to get you pointed in the right direction. Thanks for watching.